Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a very important uh, Power BI update. It's nothing but there is a new preview feature available in the Power BI desktop now. So if you want to utilize this new preview feature, you have to download and install latest version of the Power BI desktop. If you are using older version, you have to uninstall and you have to install the latest version. Then only you can able to utilize this new preview feature update. You can also cover in the interview also it is very important uh, subject okay so what is new preview feature so what no more dax in power bi yes there is a new quick measure update is there we are going to discuss about this now no need to bother about the dax okay so automatically measures will be created okay so if you want to use this, what you have to do, you have latest version of Power BI desktop. Now I have latest version of Power BI desktop. Let me open this. If you want to utilize, what you have to do, you have to enable that preview feature. Now it is in preview mode, right? That's the reason why you have to go to options and settings and go to options and uh, preview features quick measure sessions you have to enable this and you have to click on ok yes feature requires a restart ok we'll restart this one ok so this quick measure update will work based on your data model so let me load simple data set There is an employee table. I am loading this table. Try to understand what kind of columns are there in the table. Come to the data view. See here you can able to see employee number, name, job, MGR, hire date, salary, commission, department number. Okay. Fine. Now we can able to write the calculation. So for example, if you want to write uh, calculation measures, right? So we have to write, you have to take right click and you have to write a new measure or new column like that, right? Okay, fine. So come here. Now come to our model, come to the quick measure. So here already we have ready-made measures are there. Okay. Now come to the suggestions. This is a new update. Here Use natural language to describe the measure you need like uh, total sales for Canada in this year. Okay. So how this suggestions will work based on your data model. Okay. In our model only one table we have, right? So for example, in the employee table we have a salary, right? So I want to go for total salary. I want to know what is the total salary. See here you can able to see the uh, suggestions also. You just select and you have to create generate button see here automatically it is created the measure you can able to see the preview value also and see the measure measure is already created and what you have to do you just simply add you don't need to copy paste also see here automatically it will add it click here yes see two measures added okay fine you can rename as well I'm renaming as total salary. Yes, this is uh, fine. And whatever extra one is there that I will delete. I don't require at all. Delete from the model. Yes. So you ask anything, total count, average, whatever you like. Okay. Okay. I have another scenario here. If you come to my model here, uh, job okay job is equal to manager okay i want to know what is the total salary we are paying for the managers okay managers total salary okay fine so in this case how we can able to write the tax manager total 
cell see here you can able to see the suggestion as well and you have to click on the generate that's it see this 8275 is the total salary we are paying for the managers see the coding as well automatically here DAX code is generated see the calculation calculate employee total salary see here total salary whatever we created this measure automatically it is reused here okay if filters employee job is equal to manager if you want to add this you just click on the add button and you can rename as only managers yes okay okay if if you have one table this is fine for example you have more tables then what is my scenario it will work no need to bother you need to go to data i will take department table now okay anyhow we have the relationship between employee table and the department table and this table also very simple now go to the table what kind of columns we have department number department name and location okay okay maybe i want to know only location dallas salary or new york salary like that i want to create any some measure okay location wise uh, total salary i want to filter so in this case go to the model in the model there is an option called quick measure go to the suggestions what you can write like this what is the total salary uh, i want to go for location yes let me search and click here no session okay okay then you can try location wise any suggestion is coming yes you can take salary or total salary by location just click it see here so location wise salary the measure is created okay so if you want to add here you just click and add you can rename location wise salary now there is no more headache about the tax okay so it is very useful for the beginners and also intermediate people also you will get nice suggestions here okay almost correct logics will get it here okay you have to search you, you need to know how to search about your data that's it okay thank you for watching my video okay if anybody wants special training okay you can contact me okay my email id is jabiullah.v at the rate gmail.com and mobile number is 7829 my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video